Army and Popular Committees foil an attack of Sudi soldiers to restore their Nasr location. Sudi aggression launches a series of air sorties on the capital Sana'a. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Yemen News from Yemen Satellite Channel. To the details, the Army and Popular Committees managed to foil an attack by the Saudi military location, an aggression to restore Dar al Nasr military location in Jaizan area. A military source in Saada told that the Saudi enemy attempt today to restore Dar al Nasr military location as they heavily bombarded the location, but the heroes of Army and People Committee confronted the attack and foiled it. The source noted that a number of Saudi soldiers were killed and a military missionary was gained. The Saudi aggression continued its pumping on the capital Sana'a with a series of intensive air sorties on a number of residential buildings and civil and military institutions. A security source clarified that the Saudi aggression targeted the citizens' houses in a Nahda residential quarter, the former First Armored Division headquarters at Daylami Air Base, the camp of social of special security forces, the Saudi and Emirates ambassadors embassies. Sorry, embassies in the capital Sana'a. They also hit Al Hafa and Nukum camp. The security source renewed its condemnation on targeting the residential quarters, citizens' houses, killing children and women due to the brutal Saudi aggression. The official spokesman of armed forces, Brigadier Ghalib Luqman, called members and officers of the Yemeni armored forces whether associate to the third military region or others not to be dragged behind the impressions of the Saudi Arabia and the UAE invasion forces and the facility of falsity of what they call in addition to stay away and not to be present near the places of the occupation camps cause they become military targets to destroy them The Public Health and Population Ministry denounced the killing of Dr. Abdul Karim Ghazi and Dr. Mohammed Al Hakimi, who work with the ICRC delegation while they were performing a humanitarian tasks in Amran province. The ministry expressed in a statement their condemnation for these acts, which not uh, not to uh, have a religion and mortality of Yemeni society who respect the work of humanitarian organizations, including the Red Cross in Yemen. The statement prized by the rule of the ICRC and its activities and elevating the suffering of Yemeni people due to the Saudi aggression. The Saudi air jets launched a series of air sorties on the citizens' houses in Al Ashraf area in Mar province. A source mentioned that the Suri air jets targeted the house of Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Aziz Al Amir, with two air sorties resulted to the destruction of the house, as well as the house of Sheikh Faisal bin Haider Al Sharif, causing a huge damages in the house without lives casualties. The Suri aggression warplanes launched more than 18 sorties against different areas in Saada Governorate, causing four casualties. A local source in Saada told that the aggression sorties hit Marran area in Haydan district, the load, the road linking Al Tahir and Haydan district, Baqum district, and Munabah, injuring four locals. The local source pointed out that the sorties severely destroyed a number of houses in addition to a car. The civil coalition for monitoring the aggression crimes renewed their invitation to the United Nations and its general secretary along with the UN envoy to Yemen. Ismail Walda Sheikh to condemn the aggression and its crimes in the continuous killing for civilians every day. In addition, they renewed the call to open an international investigation on the crimes of Al Qaeda by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its alliance 
an open and imperial and independent investigation in the war and genocide crimes which committed towards the Yemenis since six months ago. The statement mentioned the coalition and the civil society organizations in Yemen are watching, monitoring and documenting the crimes of Saudi Arabia, Kingdom and its allies. The statement stressed that all such acts and continued killing of civilians and the destruction of the country is the only business that supports and promotes and helps terrorist groups, which it reveals clearly and empowers the countries that rise the slogans of combating terrorism, while strongly support them generously in Yemen on top of these countries, U.S. and Britain. The Suri aggression continues the targeting across the Republic of Yemen. In Sana'a, the Suri warplane launched a number of air sorties targeting the technical institution in the Haban. The stores of Amran Cement Company, Al Hafa Camp, and Al Nahdain Mountain, south of the country. A number of air sorties targeted Adan Mountain in the west southern of the capital. Four air strikes on Al Aradi defense complex in Babel Yemen, what led to the destruction of a number of nearby houses. In Marib, the Suri air jets launched 10 air sorties targeting different areas in the province, six sorties on various areas in Sarwah district, two sorties on Al Ashraf area south of the city, two sorties on the strategic Haylan Mountain. In Sada, seven people were killed between of them two children and a woman. Six others injured due to the Saudi air strikes in Sha'ara Hospital in Razah district. A number of houses were damaged in the area. Two air sorties on Al Qard area in Pakom district. One air sorties on a Suwaih area in Saqain district. In Ib, the Suri air jets launched five air sorties on various areas in Al Radma district. The Suri air jets targeted Al Amal Secondary School, what led to the destruction of the school and caused heavy damages. In Hajja, the Suri warplanes launched five air strikes on Harad City, Maidi, Triangle, and Ahom, targeting a number of residential buildings and nearby houses of citizens' markets and more financial damages. To the headlines. Army and Popular Committees foil an attack for Saudi soldiers to restore their Nasr location. Saudi aggression launches a series of air sorties on the capital Sana'a. Thanks for watching and see you.